What is up, guys? Welcome back, or I guess to the very first episode of uh, Non-Typical Fishing. You can check out the ad here. You can see it on the pages, but today we're going to be heading up to one of my local harbors that's not that local. A little bit of a drive. Um, we got the downriggers on the boat. We're going to do some trolling for some salmon, maybe some lake trout. I know there's coho, steelhead. They got everything up there, but uh, after I do that for a little bit, uh, I spoke to a couple nice gentlemen last week, and they uh, hooked me up with some coordinates to a, a couple shipwreck locations, and I'm hearing of a fish that's uh, lurking all over them, so we're going to drop some minnows on them, be a little surprised if we catch any, so come along with me, should be fun. Okay, so I didn't even get a chance to film that, but uh, look what we got. I tried trolling, didn't happen. Nothing going. Burb in the boat. Let's go. Check that out. I didn't find this thing. So no salmon today, but uh, I'm going to actually get the chest mount on and try recording what I'm doing here. But uh, you got to burb it. I've never eaten them. That's kind of the intent right now. We're going to see if we can't get a pile of these things and try eating them up tomorrow. But... Hopefully we can get some actual footage here in a second. Get a couple more. Might have a bite right now. I can't really tell. These things don't really bite very hard, if we're being honest. Can you guys even see? Good enough. Brother, are you there? No, I don't feel nothing. Ooh, got him. Definitely got something. Laker, maybe? Or way bigger bourbon, because that other bourbon didn't fight at all. Damn, he's deep. I still got another 70 freaking feet to go. Come on up, bud. I'm also a left-handed retrieve, reeling this in with my freaking oppo hand. I'm not loving this. We got another one. Better one, too. No! I just get that on footage. My dumbass just tried boat flipping him and it didn't work, but he stayed at the top. <laughs> oh, shit. What an idiot, though. Definitely a better one. Holy shit. Good one, too. Good eater. I think. I don't know what they taste like, but. Damn, let's go, man. This is on Lower Lake Huron, too. I don't know if I, like, said that to any of y'all. Uh, I've heard of people catching them, but now we're actually catching them. Thought it was, like, a rare thing. Damn, that's a pretty one. I mean, as <laughs> I don't know about pretty. Pretty ugly. But the colors are cool. I am so pumped. I thought you had to go to, like, Wisconsin or Minnesota for these things. The UP, maybe? Hell yeah. So basically all we're doing right now is, see how well you guys can see this. I literally, I don't have any three-way swivels with me. So I just connected a swivel to another swivel. Just a leader that'll just keep it right off of bottom or on bottom. I don't think it, they really care. Not a picky fish. Just a three-way rig, a little walleye hook. In a two ounce weight, I'm just dropping it down to bottom. I'm got the boat spot locked right now, and we're catching burbot. We might have a bite right here, I'm not sure. It was looking just like the last one. By that, I mean it looks like nothing. What is this freaking? Let's see. Anyone there? No one on. Let's check the baits. Alright, we're 
hooked up. I think. Come on. We're hooked up. Took a little minute there after the first two. This one feels smaller. Sorry, this camera footage sucks, but. He's just another baby. But he's getting eaten. Fish number three. So this is what we're rocking with so far. Not too bad for the first time trying it. Can't complain. So the one thing I'm learning right now is so doing my research I found out that you can kind of fish them like catfish. So you just drop the baits right on the bottom and let them sit there and um seems to be the ticket out here tonight so i'm gonna keep running with that i might change up some of my other rigs to change them all to that so we will see i think we got another bite here we go yep feels better again a lot better yeah, i don't know about that at least better than the last one This footage has got to suck, but uh, bear with me here, guys. Recording with the iPhone today. Wait a little bit better. Let's go. Number four. Hell yeah. I did not expect this to go so well today, but <laughs> uh, this is great. It's gonna be even more great to seeing what they taste like tomorrow. Fish number four. Going on the stringer. Yes sir, yes sir. Fish, fish, fish. Digging a little bit. I don't know. I might be heading in if this is another burbot. I don't know how much burbot I'm planning on eating. Five, let's go. Hell yeah. They don't fight very well, I'll say that, but. And if they're not good eating, I don't see myself coming out here and do and this. And if they're not good eating, I don't see myself coming back out here to do this again. Cool experience, cool looking fish, very different looking. Right, I think I'm gonna pull all the rods up. I got five bourbon in the boat. Um, I just don't see myself needing more than five, especially considering I don't even know if it's a fish that I enjoy eating. So, chops picking up a little bit. I think we're gonna throw out the salmon gear a little bit, see if we can't steal a salmon on our way in, but hell yeah. Alright guys, so it's the next day now. I'm actually on my way to go clean up them fish. But we, we had a good little trip last night. We did better than I anticipated, if we're being honest, considering I've never really caught them before. Caught two while ice fishing on Lake Winnebago in Minnesota. Um, 
If any of you guys would like to try this kind of thing, there's shipwrecks all over the state of Michigan. It don't matter if you're on Lake Huron, Lake Michigan, Superior. Um, if you're in deep enough water, cold enough water, I was fishing anywhere from 85 to like 115 feet last night. Uh, there's coordinates for shipwrecks all over the internet. They're pretty easy to find. Uh, find them, get above it, get right on the edge of that boat, drop minnows down, and just see what happens. Uh, I don't think they're a very picky fish. They're pretty easy to catch. They don't fight too well, but see if it's worth it a little bit later on as far as how they taste. Um, should have some more videos on the way. We'll have some real good salmon opportunities here in the upcoming weeks, but appreciate you guys watching. More to come.